The unique thing about me being a makeup artist is the way that I actually apply cosmetics. So I have limited use of both of my arms due to a physical disability called arthrogryposis. So I actually taught myself how to apply cosmetics using my mouth. My name is Jessie and I'm a professional makeup artist. I am fully self-taught. My clients come from all walks of life and a lot of people specifically come to me just for the experience. I've gotten so many amazing reviews that it's almost like a facial massage. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up with Jessie in middle school, I noticed she was just a tomboy, always hanging around with the guys. I had the school break, and then she come back looking real pretty with the mascara and stuff. I was like, hold up, I gotta take another look at her, what's up? At 16, I asked her to go to prom, and then ever since that, we've been together for 15 years. My life is as normal as anybody else's. We get up, drink coffee, feed our anim animals, our fur babies. We love to have fun, going out places like everyone else. When we go to the Sephora store, I dread it and I'm happy at it. Cause we get to try a lot of different cool stuff, but then the wallet cries. People, they look at us with some type of like, a, a repulsion. They don't think we can actually like, be in a relationship together, it would be too hard, but we challenge that all the time. He gets me dressed every single day. He'll help me put lashes on. She loves me when I do the bun. I love helping her and doing everything, because uh, it's my family, she's my wife, you know what I'm saying? I thought the industry would shun me. You know, I was denied my education for cosmetology. One school that I went to shredded my application in front of me. They told me that it was unsanitary and that it was unethical. That made me feel like the gum on somebody's shoe. So I had my very first opportunity to do makeup, which was a fashion show. And I never told them how I applied cosmetics. And I was so scared. Models were kind of, you know, standoffish because it's that stereotype. You know, oh, she's gonna poke me in the eye. Oh, you know, she's gonna drool on me. And the first model that sat in my chair, she's like, I'm ready. Do you need me to help you open anything? She was just so welcoming. That was the fuel that I needed. The second day, I had 23 models lined up, wanting to experience this and wanting to go onto the runway with makeup that I put on. There were so many people that told me I would never be where I am. And thinking back to where I started and where I came from, it was all worth it.